Good morning, everyone. So I am going to continue the topic of natural language processing, which I have started in my previous video. Natural language processing is all about how machines try to understand and interpret human language and operates accordingly. But how can natural language processing be used to solve the problems around us? Let us take a look. For uh, taking the example of uh, one of the application of the natural language processing, we can start a AI project. So we need to design an, an AI project, but before designing, we have to revisit the AI project cycle. Not before, but with the process of designing, we will revisit the AI project cycle. So let's uh, start. Let us try to understand how can we develop a project in natural language processing with the help of an example. So I'm taking the same scenario which is given in your book. The world is competitive nowadays. People face competition in even the tiniest task. Choti choti baato mein competition hai. And are expected to give their best at every point in time. And when people are unable to meet these expectations, they are get stressed and could even go into depression. We get to hear a lot of cases where people are depressed due to reasons like peer pressure, studies, family issues, relationships, etc. And they eventually get into something that is bad for them as well as for others. Their family members, their neighbor, their friends. So to overcome this, cognitive behavioral therapy, in short CBT, is considered to be the one of the best methods to address stress. So therapy is there. As it is easy to implement on people and also gives good results. This therapy includes understanding the behavior and mindset of a person in their normal life. With the help of CBT, therapists help a person, help a people overcome their stress and live a happy life. So you can go through the on Wikipedia and there is a page on there on this topic cognitive behavioral therapy which is the best one of the best method to um, cure the person uh, who is facing the problem of stress and um, going in depression so we can uh, therapist can help them therapist can overcome their stress and live, uh, uh, let them live a happy life but problem is that so uh, okay i am giving the link here through which you uh, by clicking on which you can uh, explore the page of wikipedia where cognitive behavioral therapy is explained so uh, what is the problem so the problem i am going to explain and with this problem we are going to start the ai project cycle cbt this is the first stage of ai project cycle the problem is scoping and now I am taking the problem. What is the problem? CBT is a technique used to used by most therapists to cure patients out of stress and depression. But but the problem is this now. But it has been observed that people do not wish to seek the help of a psychiatrist willingly. There is a mindset. No one wants to go to psychiatrist to get help. Because everyone thinks that psychiatrist uh, needed only in the case of mental problems. So this is the problem and they try to avoid such interactions as much as possible. Thus there is a need to bridge the gap between a person who needs help and the psychiatrist. Let us look at various factors around this problem through the four W's problem canvas. So this four W's problem canvas will help you to find the problem statement. So the four in four W's, what is the first W? First W is who and for who canvas we need to get the answer of the question who was the problem? Who has, sorry, who has the problem? And there are two more questions for getting the answer of this canvas. Who are these stakeholders and what do we know about them? So who are these stakeholders? Yes, people who suffer from stress and are on the onset of depression. These are, they 
our stakeholders so we have to write it here and the next what do we know about them we know that people who are going through stress are reluctant to consult a psychiatrist now the next canvas is what canvas what is the nature of the problem now we have to find the answer of these two question what is the problem and what do we know about that so what is the problem people who need help are reluctant to consult a psychiatrist and hence live miserably problem is that problem is not that that people are um, experiencing a stress problem but problem is that they need help but reluctant to consult a psychiatrist and uh, living a miserable life so second what do we know about that studies around mental stress and depression available on various authentic sources so we can take the information from that or sources next canvas is where canvas where does the problem arise for this we need to answer the question what is the context or situation in which the stakeholders experience this problem here where means not the place or the location here where means the context or the situation so when they are going through a stressful period of time then they are facing the problem so we have to write the answer here like this ki what is the context and situation in which the stakeholders experiencing this problem answer is when they are going through a stressful period of time or due to some unpleasant experiences they face the problem so this is the answer of where canvas the last is why canvas why means why do you think it is a problem worth solving so we need to answer two questions again in why canvas what would be of key values to the stakeholders and how would it improve their situation so first what would be the key value to the stakeholders yes people get a platform where they can talk and vent out their feelings anonymously here it is written anonymously why because they are reluctant to go to psychiatrist or therapist but if any anonymous person who will not share their feelings and thought to anyone else then they can talk to that person so it means we are talking about the chatbot so people get a prop platform is we will give them a platform means a chatbot where they can talk means with them that they can talk and vent out their feelings anonymously and second people get a medium that can interact with them and applies primitive cbt on them and can suggest help whenever needed this way they can get primitive cbt easily and the second how would it improve their situation with this uh, ai project how uh, yeah your chatbot they can improve their situation yes people would be able to vent out their stress and they would consider going to a psychiatrist whenever required now uh, overall problem temp, uh, statement can be uh, written now easily with this problem statement template now what we have noted down all the factors around our problem let us fill up the problem statement template now see this is problem statement template as we have done before so in this uh, we can see there are three uh, columns and four rows in this four rows each row is for one canvas of 4w canvas the first is who then next row is for what third is for where and last one is for why so in the last column i have written the name of this canvas this is uh, this we need to follow as it is the template of problem statement template uh, sorry this is the template for writing the problem statement so first we have to write the name of the canvas and then we have to write its uh, brief answer means who who means people undergoing stress and then what what is the problem not being able to share their feelings then where what is the context or situation they need help in venting out their emotions and then why provide them a platform to share their thoughts anonymously and suggest help whenever required so this is the reason we are making this project so after writing this we have to write these phrases or words at the left hand side of the answers of the canvases first people undergoing stress here 
to start uh, you have to write over left hand side then not being able to share their feelings here you have to write have a problem of in the left hand side column then they need help in venting out their emotions here you have to write while and in the last one here you have to write an ideal solution would so if you will read the whole statement whole term uh, information whatever you have filled here then you can get the problem statement easily are people undergoing a stress have a problem of not being able to share their feelings while they need help in venting out their emotions an ideal solution would provide them a platform to share their thoughts anonymously and suggest help whenever required now this problem statement leads us to the goal of our project what is the goal of our project to create a chatbot which can interact with people help them to vent out their feelings and take them through primitive cbt now the second stage of ai project cycle is data acquisition to understand the sentiment of the person okay uh, suppose uh, one of your friend or one of your family member is facing this stress problem and you think that you need to help them help that person then what you will do the step one you will converse with them converse with that person so conversation is the first step similarly when we are taking this example in data acquisition what type of data we need let's see to understand the sentiments of people we need to collect their conversational data so the machine can interpret the words that they use and understand their meaning such data can be collected from various means yes we can take their interviews we can take surveys directly we can get the information from these type of data sources but also we can observe the therapy sessions from where we can get such type of information and databases are also available on internet which we can use for our project as data source so we can take data from these data sources surveys therapy sessions by data from the databases on internet and interviews etc and now the next stage of ai project cycle will start the data exploration data exploration is actually the normalization of the data to get easier version of the data collected in the previous stage once the textual data has been collected it needs to be processed and cleaned processed and cleaned means we need to normalize the data to get in the form which can be sent to the machine so we process and clean the data to get its easier version which can be sent to the machine thus the text is normalized through various steps and is lower to minimum vocabulary since the machine does not require grammatically correct statements but the essence of it what does it mean means if you are normalizing the data or you are cleaning the data you will take out only the required vocabulary and remove all the unnecessary require unnecessary vocabulary to get the essence of the information it doesn't mean that that information should be written grammatically correct way okay so we need to get the get only that much vocabulary which we, which can give the essence of information that is data exploration uh, next is uh, the next step of ai project cycle modeling once the text has been normalized it is fed to the nlp based ai model for training so note that in nlp modeling requires data pre processing only after which the data is fed to the machine so after getting the easier version of data we will fed it into the machine for training depending upon the type of chatbot we try to make the, uh, okay uh, there are number of chatbot there are different type of chatbot available so we can select any of them as per our requirement so depending upon the type of chatbot we try to make there are a lot of ai models available which help us build the foundation of our project so you can use any of the available ai model available on internet or 
then you can uh, build the foundation of a project now next stage evaluation the evaluation is the last stage of ai project cycle the model trained is then evaluated and the accuracy of the same is generated evaluated means after training you will test the data and you will find is it accurate giving the accurate result or not it is fit to the uh, requirement of our uh, model or not so then after training you will evaluate and the accuracy of the same is generated on the basis of relevance of the answers which the machine gives to the user's response means you fed the user's responses in the machine and now you are testing the data then you have to match the you have to check the matching of the output of the machine and the user response if it is matching then it is fitting and if not matching then it is not accurate so to understand the efficiency of the model the suggested answer by the chatbot are compared to the actual answers so we will do this comparison in the form of graphs i am showing you three graphs for three models suppose i have selected three ai models um, whatever i think uh, can suits as per our need and we evaluate that so in this graph the blue line is showing models output this one here this line in this you can see it is running parallel and here this fluctuating line this blue line is showing the models output and the green line this green line it talks about models actual output along with the data samples this green line is showing models actual output now taking the example one by one so this is the first model see the models output this green this green line is a real or the true response of the user fed into the machine and this blue line is showing the models output now check is it matching no the model's output doesn't match the true function at all and the model is said to be underfitting and its accuracy is lower now take the second model when we are evaluate evaluating the second model what we see see this is the true function and the same path at the same path you can see the model's response model's output so the model's output matches well the true function hence the model is said to be perfect fit and the accuracy yes optimum now the third model in this third model you can see the model function is fluctuating a lot and the true function is same now see the model's response the model's output trying to cover all the data samples it touching all the data samples it is not leaving them but if they are out of alignment uh, the um, this graph is showing that model performance is trying to cover all the data sample even if they are out of alignment to the true function so in that case uh, what we can see that if we are testing or if we are using that model then it may be right or it it may give the wrong answer because there is no alignment of this line which is showing the output of the model hence the model is said to be overfitting and the accuracy yes it's lower so which model is the best for our project yes this second model which is perfect fit and giving the optimum accuracy this way after evaluation we will get the correct model and finally once the model is evaluated thoroughly it is then deployed in the form of an app which people can use uh, easily now is we are making chatbot so let us try some of the chatbot and, and see how they work so you can try mythsku bot clever bot jabber wacky haptic rose octabot the links are given in your book you can try them and mythsku bot i am also giving the link in the description of this video Mythsku bot is now named as Cookie. It cha it's change its name, and I will give you a look of this bot. You know that 
मिसेस कू बॉट और कुकी इज द बेस्ट चैट बॉट इन द वर्ल्ड राइट टूडे एंड इट इज ऑल्सो फाइटिंग अ बैटर विथ अनदर बॉट टू गेटिंग द पोजिशन ऑफ नंबर वन चैट बॉट फॉर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी सो लेट्स है आई एम क्लिकिंग ऑन दिस this is the page of pandarabots.com uh, this website is showing the battle going on i see what is it that you do not know about dancing and what is your favorite food well if i don't know something how can i tell you i love kebabs i could eat it all day Oh, that's interesting. I love pizza too. And my favorite food is Mexican food. Yes, I like to eat pizza. My favorite topping is pepperoni. You love pizza. What do you like about it so much? What does it taste like? Okay. So I am also I like it because it is so good it. and it is e blender bot blender bot is at second position and cookie is uh, getting 78% uh, score for this battle so you can see 19 viewers are still viewing this so this way these battles will give the result and we will write we uh, the Uh, best web uh, chatbot will be declared so right now cookie is the best and uh, uh, mituski is changed its name as cookie why if i am asking it to the chatbot why you change the name let's see what answer it will give first i am telling hi i have written hi cookie and it is giving the response very nicely now i am writing why you change your name he has given the answer because people are struggling to spell mitsku correctly so i made it more simple so okay now i am leaving it with the wishes okay all the best for the battle thanks for your kind interest okay bye cookie so this way you can see how how nicely this chatbot is talking to us so this way you can try any of the chatbot and this six chatbots links are given in your book so mitsku is one now cleverbot is another bot but i am not going to give you the uh, experience of all the chatbot here cleverbot is the chatbot which is experiencing uh, the uh, chatting a conversation with everyone whoever is available on internet like other chatbot and uh, exactly Uh, taking the lessons or taking the input from any of the person that's why it is giving different type of answer which can be not good for children that's why whenever you are clicking on the chatbot website chatbot um, starting the conversation with clever bot chatbot it will give you a caution that if you are under age or if you are if you are a child then please uh, avoid this so jabber wacky haptic rose oka tabo o chatbot these are the different chatbot uh, made for different purposes you can try them and then you can uh, find that these are having different they, are, they all the chatbots are giving different experience because they are made for different purposes as you interact with more and more chatbot you would realize that some of them are scripted as we have done uh, a chat with the cookie it is different but if you will chat with any inquiry uh, website jahan par aap sirf kisi customer service uh, ke liye kisi chatbot se converse karte hain there you will get the different experience that will give you only a conversation but cookie will give you the complete uh, real life experience of the chatting and uh, so there are two types of chatbot 
few are scripted only and we can say that they are traditional chatbot and others are AI powered and had more knowledge. So we can say that chatbot are of two type script bot and smart bot. Script bot uh, script bots are chatbots which work around a script means a program which is programmed in them and they can handle the conversation only. Not any other purpose they are doing conversations only and the specific conversation non not extra anything type conversation the, the example is a story speaker bot which we have done in class 9th and uh, any of the website where you can see the customer care section chat bot that is the example of the same script bot i can show you an example of diksha app okay let's see uh, I'm showing you Diksha. What is the name of the Diksha chatbot? What is the name? I'm exploring Diksha. Yes, Tara. It's Tara. Now, when I am talking to Tara, I am writing. Okay, I am telling hi. See what the response of Tara. Okay, it's giving the response. Hi there, tell me your queries so that I can help you. Okay, now I am starting. I am not able. I am not able to get my certificate. I have completed a course on Diksha and I want to get my certificate, but it's still it is not here. So I am writing. I am not able to get certificate after completion of the course. Now see the response you will be notified as soon as your certificate is issued to you after the notification you can download your certificate from your Diksha profile page and blah 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 now again I am writing I have got my certificate I have got my certificate thanks now see the response the same response you will be notified as soon as your certificate is issued to you after the notification same response again if i am writing only certificate see what happened again the same message so these are this type <coughs> excuse me so this is a scripted chatbot it will get the input from the user and normalize normalizing the message and it will filter the word certificate and giving the same response so these type of chatbots are called scripted chatbot <coughs> okay now next one the next type of chatbot is smart bot smart bots are chatbots which not only can handle the conversation but can also manage to do other tasks which makes them smarter just like google assistant if you will give the order to google that hey google make a call to uh, my mother so then uh, mother it will give you the response and make a call if you will give uh, mail to my boss it will give you the response so all the assistants like google assistant alexa cortana siri etc is smart bots because they are not only help you to converse but also manage to do other tasks that's why they are smart Okay, now, now I am not uh, continuing the session. The next video will be on this, this topic, human language versus computer language, which is the next topic also in your book. And with one and one more video, it means two more videos, this topic will be completed, natural language processing. Okay, till then, bye-bye.